Hey, MGTOW guys. Maybe I won't use jackers anymore. Maybe it's not a good term, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to do something a little different here. This does apply to MGTOW, okay? And this still applies to going your own way. But I want to talk about comedy. Even if you're not a comedy fan, if you don't know stand-up comedy, you don't know, or you don't care, or whatever, this definitely applies. So I've been doing stand-up for nine years, and a couple people on this channel have been saying, you know, you should be doing stand-up because you're so funny or whatever. <laughs> Thank you, guys. But stand-up comedy has changed. When I started in 2009, there wasn't a lot of comics. And then over the last few years, I would say five years or so, everybody and their mother's a comic. But female comics have definitely changed, too. Now every single female comic is like, you know, you see like those, those fucking debates, you know how you see like, you know, those, those hardcore SJW type chicks, they dress like Mary Poppins, the hipster looking white chicks, you know, and they're always screaming about rights and everything and sexism and everything sexist. Well, those chicks do stand up. I know. Can you believe it? Now, once again, if you don't care about comedy, <clears throat> what I'm about to read you is might shock you not shock you and surprise you but shock you on how stupid i mean this is the reason why one of the reasons i never really re liked female comics at all i never found them funny i know some guys out there go yeah there's some women out there that are funny and i say to them have you ever had a woman a woman make you laugh so hard you had tears coming out your eyes or you were holding your stomach you were pounding the walls the same way let's say you're one of your buddies can Probably most likely not. But we'll get more into that. But once again, this does apply to MGTOW, and I'll explain why. So pretty much pay attention to this. Long story short, I've been off Facebook for a year and a half. Now, there's many reasons why I'm not going to make it in comedy. Okay, maybe because I'm not that funny as I think I am. But also because I'm in Philadelphia. You got to move to New York or Los Angeles. That's number one. You know, you got to have connections. It's a rough business. It's not just being funny. So aside from that, I've been on Facebook now for a year and a half because it was making me depressed. My so-called real friends, you know, were, you know, just not talking to me really. They didn't want to hang out with me. My so-called comedy friends didn't want to put me on their shows. And when people were trashing me on Facebook, one of these female comics years ago, I got into it with one of them. She was a feminist comic. We got into it. It was like a friendly debate and she had to bring all of her friends to jump me. And of course, everybody has to pick a side. And whose side do you pick? You pick her side because she's a woman. And a woman in comedy has more value than a man in comedy, unless it's a black man, of course, right? Or maybe even a gay man. So I've been on Facebook now for like a year and a half. And this guy that I know who's been on my podcast, Josh Cass, um, he's going through some things right now. And recently, what happened was he was at an open mic. He, he, hit, on, he hit on this female comic, which I don't know why he would do that because we all know female comics are stupid, slutty, crazy nut jobs. And he said, you're beautiful or something. Well, actually, this was, a, this was over Facebook text. And I guess, I, I, guess, I guess what made it worse was he started doing a bit on stage about, you know, him hitting on her. And she had a, like a weird response. Like she said, thanks, man, or something. And then people were kind of like putting him down for like, like why would you do that? Or why are you talking about this on stage? And pretty much she made this post. Now, I'm, off, I'm not on Facebook once again, but this applies because um, you're going to hear a lot of things she's going to say that's going to make you go, ill. She talks like that? <clears throat> and I don't mean like in a nasty way. I mean like a such a, you could tell she's an SJW, <clears throat> just fucking hipster chick so here it is here's the title this is in a now once again this is in a facebook group where people are plugging their comedy shows and their open mics right you would think but the, all the female comics all they talk about is male behavior like you know how migtail we talk about female behavior well <clears throat> they talk about male behavior like things guys do in open mics and stuff they hate men but yet they chose a career path like stand-up where they're going to be around Guys, like every open mic is like 20, 30 guys to one shit, one girl, one cunt, if you want to say. So anyway, let's get to the post. I set it up long enough for you guys. Here's the title. This is Comedy Lessons for Straight Dudes. Now, once again, she's not going after, she wants to put straight because she's not, she's not going after gay dudes because gay guys want to hit on her. And I'm pretty sure this is mostly for straight white guys, by the way, but she won't put white. Even though, you know, because the, the guy hit on her was not white. He was Asian, but still. So, <clears throat> title is 
comedy lessons for straight dudes. Number one, volunteering is great unless you're volunteering to whip your dick out. Don't ever do that, straight dude. So apparently, some guy who was a comic whipped his dick out. Hey, Louis C.K., how you doing today? He's a MGTOW now. No. Um, but here's the thing. If a guy, let's say, did whip his dick out, how did he do it? Was it an aggressive way? Was it like the Louis C.K. way? Was he joking? I mean, a guy, obviously, yes, should not whip his dick out unless it's consensual. But I don't know the story there. I don't know if that really happened or not. But let's keep going on because that's not the part. If that happened to her or other female cops, I can understand that's a no-no. But I don't know the situation there. So let's keep going. Now, these are once again, these are three lessons. There's three of them. That's number one. Number two, this is going to make you cringe. Female comedians are badass superheroes. And I know all you nerds respect uh, superheroes, so respect us too. Give us respect, straight dudes. Now, for all, here, here's what happened. So years ago, when I got into an argument with this feminist, here was, the, here was the thing. A buddy of mine did a comedy contest, right? And he didn't do well. So they were shitting on him, like, oh, he's the fucking worst comic in the city. And I said, guys, you know, I've seen other people bomb in this contest, too. And I got into it where she didn't like that because she thinks she knows everything about comedy. So she had to get all of her friends to jump on me once again. And all these white knights were like, yeah, you know, he personally attacked her. Personally, you know what personally attack is? Personally attacks if you say something. If I if I said, I, I didn't say anything about her looks. I didn't say anything about her comedy. I, I didn't insult her at all. Just because I debated her. So she had to get all of her little friends. And pretty much... I realized at that moment, and then something else happened years ago, I was interviewing this female comic. She was actually attractive. She was half Asian, half white. This was like seven years ago, maybe, from my buddy's YouTube channel, and everything I asked her was based on her act. She was talking about her pussy. She was talking about... So I, I asked her about it. I asked her about her pussy, and then she said at the end, you're harassing me. And I realized she wants special treatment because she's a female comic. She wants special treatment. She doesn't want me to... You know, I, I'm treating her like a comic. Like, that's the thing. I, I, I don't care if you're a guy, you're a female, you're trans, you're black, you're white. In comedy, we all know you got to have a thick skin. Because you have to deal with audiences maybe booing you, heckling you, comedians busting your balls, getting bumped, not making it. All this stuff you have to deal with. So you got to have a thick skin. But when you treat a female, once again, just like in the workplace, they want equals, equal pay. But when they have to do the work, there is an issue there. Uh, they want special treatment. So once again, most female comics, if not all, suck. Now, there's excuses for this, as I said before. Some people say, well, there's not that many females in comedy. Yeah, because it's totally unnatural for a woman to go up there and make people laugh. Let's be honest. Now, once again, we have a lot of successful female comics out there that are making a living. Hey, that's cool. But as I said before, your natural fucking place in life is to take a man's dick and take cum and make a baby and clean the toilet okay that's what you're here for so a woman can absolutely go on stage and make people laugh but that's not really what you're here for so yes there are exceptions but just because you're doing comedy does not mean that i should automatically go oh my god you're a female who's doing comedy wow okay so you should you should be better than me I like I work at my comedy. I write my I've been writing jokes, new jokes every week for nine years. And just because a woman's doing comedy in this comedy scene, one of the reasons why my comedy scene sucks in Philly, and I think every comedy scene is doing this because they want to push women. My problem is we should only push people, individuals. I don't care if they're black, white, female, trans, whatever they are, if they deserve it. Okay, just like in real life, the person should get the job who deserves it, not based on fucking uh. You know, affirmative action, not fucking based on gender, uh, a fucking, um, if that's a word, you know, um, affirmative action, uh, gender, action, whatever it's called. It should be based on who's qualified, right? But we don't do that. So she wants some sort of entitlement that, hey, everybody, I'm a female comic. Now, if you want to say, just don't try to fuck the female comics, like, don't whip your, okay, I, I told you, I've always hated female comics. I've always stayed away from them. Right? Not, not even because of me too, Justin Jett. There's only one female comic in my comedy scene that I got along with. And over the last couple of years, she hasn't talked to me because she has a boyfriend now and he's Puerto Rican. And he would probably punch her lights out. Not because I flirt with her, just because he probably, he's probably a jealous type. And she's a weird chick anyways. But other than her, 
I don't really care to talk to female comics. Even if I saw one that was cute, even that Asian one I told you, I have no interest because I know they're crazy and they're not going to fuck. Most of them are whores, like I said. Uh, you know, uh, fucking uh, Sarah Silverman was fucking Dave Attell and Jimmy Kimmel and all these other comics and then fucking um, uh, these other co- female comics, a lot of them, they were just fucking their way to the top. I mean, they all fuck uh, their way. That's what they do. So it's like, you know, they're only going to fuck a guy who has more value. Just like, Okay, if you work in a... There are some girls out there who work in a restaurant. They might... Like, a waitress might fuck the dishwasher. But let's be honest. Most of the time, the waitress either fucks a guy if he's good-looking or she fucks the boss, right? And in comedy, it's no different. She's not going to fuck some loser open mic guy like me on the same level. She's going to fuck the fucking headliner. She's going to fuck a famous comic. The guy, the comedian Mark Norman. You might not know him. He's not that famous, but he's, you know, well-known. You know, he's on Opie and Jim Norton. He, he, he was in Philly like a year or two ago, and he's on the app Bumble, and he said that he had sex with a female Philadelphia open mic comic. And that right there, I just said to myself, it's probably the same whore that I'm talking about now. But let's get back to this thread. Number three, if you find a ba- badass superhero attractive, now she's going to keep using this term. This is disgusting, dot, dot, dot. And once you approach that badass superhero, dot, 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 do it in person in a classy way, or not at all. Something like, quotes, I like to take you out sometime, end quotes, is acceptable. Try it out, straight dudes. Now, here's the problem with that. Um, let me see. Let me rephrase that one more time. Uh, she says that, do it in person, classy. Something like, I like to take you out sometime. Now, every woman has their different, this is one of the things I hated about PUA, about closing. Every girl is different. Some girls like when you're straight up and you say, yo, I want to hang out some time. That's not to me way of fucking like a tying guy she got back in the day. Hey, I want to take you out some time, man. But even if you say it like that, the same kind of me too hoe, and that's what she is. She's a me too. I guarantee her act sucks. If she's using the term badass super, she's not trying to be funny. No way she's even funny. But anyways, but fucking if you say to a chick, I would like to take you out some time. That same kind of me too hoe might go, okay. And then she probably thinks in the back of your head, she's your friend. And then all of a sudden, you try to kiss her. And she's like, whoa, what are you doing? Why are you do- Why are you trying to do that? And you're like, what? And then she gets all uncomfortable. She may not meet to you, but now it's like, oh, you made me uncomfortable and everything. See, so that's why when I made my approaches, I was always straightforward. I had people tell me, you're too straightforward. I would go up and say, hey, you know, even if I, you know, shot the fish in the barrel too quick, I didn't give a shit. I would just walk right up and say, hey, you're cute. Or, you know, I got to be honest with you. I find you. Because... I didn't want to hear none of that bullshit later that, oh, I thought we were friends or, oh, I didn't know what you were doing or something, you know, none of that shit. But this chick, what she's saying is, hey, there's nothing wrong with asking out a female comic. If you think a female, and I'm not going to use that term badass superhero she's using, but if, hey, if you think a female comic is attractive, you know, say it because the guy said it on Facebook, so it is about him. She said, say it in person in a classy way. But you see, unless a woman is, once again, we talked about this before, we all know now. Unless a woman is attracted to you, which you don't, some, sometimes you know, sometimes you don't, it doesn't matter how you ask them out. You can say, yo, let's hang out sometime. Yo, I want to take you out. I would like to take you out sometime. It doesn't matter how you say it. You can be indirect. You can be direct. They don't like you. They don't like you. And most likely, they're not going to hang out with you. So let's end this quote. It says, the best way I've seen it described is this. Don't say anything to a woman that you want to want a man to say to you in prison. So she's pretty much saying that, uh, don't say to a woman, you're beautiful. Because that's what the guy said on Facebook. He said, you're beautiful. So if a man walked up to me in prison and said, hey, you're beautiful, as long as he didn't try to rape me and fuck me up my ass, I would say, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't want to, that's want to let you know, I would appreciate it if you didn't try to fuck me up my ass. But if you want to play some basketball later, hey, let's play some basketball. Right, go MGTOW, bros. <laughs> right, so and let's oh yeah, let's let's read the last sentence here. Uh, you think you wouldn't have to say these things in the era of the Me Too movement and everything else that happened, but some of you still need a friendly reminder. I'm a cunt. No, she didn't say at the end, but she should have. So pretty much, let's recap. Number one, she uses this term, badass superheroes. Once again, this is female entitlement, even in comedy. Okay, this is female comedy that I'm doing comedy, so I should be treated nice. So if a female comic fucking sucks, which most of them do, 
it's okay because she is so brave. Oh my God, that stand-up comedy is, is supposed to be a respected art form because, or any kind of thing like this, because you're going up there in front of an audience, which is not easy to do, with just a microphone, and you're trying to entertain them. You're trying to make them laugh. It takes balls to do that. So because, so when a man does it, it's supposed to be looked at as, oh well, he's a guy. But when a woman does it, oh my God, she's so brave. I can't believe she went up there like that. It's like, any for anybody, there are guys out there. My first time on stage, I wasn't that nervous. But my second time on stage, I was fucking shaking because it was a more intimate room. It was small. You know what I mean? I was rusty. You know, I was like, the fuck? It's, it's nerve-wracking for anybody. But it doesn't, it shouldn't matter, once again, that it's a female. And this fucking term, badass superhero. And once again, I want to debate something. She says that I know you nerds respect a badass superhero. Okay, so I'm not a nerd. So you're saying that I get a pass on not respecting you, right? Because if I'm not a nerd, which I'm not, and I respect badass superheroes by being a nerd, I'm not a nerd. So great, you're right. I'm not a nerd and I don't respect you. I mean, respect should be something that's earned, Okay. I, I respect any person who has the balls to get up there, but if you think you're better than everybody else, and you think you deserve more respect based on your gender or your race, you're a fucking idiot, okay? It's stand-up comedy, okay? We're all fucking comics. We're all trying to make people laugh. I'm not saying we should get along. A lot of us don't get along, but don't sit there and act like, oh my god, oh, she's a superhero. She is so brave, okay? And then number two, as far as who whipped their dick out, I don't know if it was one guy or... Or as a couple guys, but guys like to fuck around, once again. I mean, I don't know the context of that. If a guy was creepy and did some Louis C.K. shit, that's fucked up and that's wrong. But, once again, I don't know the situation. And then number three, to say, oh yeah, if a guy hits on you, he should do it in person versus Facebook. Okay, and then say, he should say it like this. A guy can't read your mind and go, okay, this is how she wants to be asked out. If we all could do that, imagine how easy that would be if you say, okay, this chick likes it direct, this chick likes it indirect, this chick likes it really direct. You're not going to know that, all right? So this chick is pretty much trying to give lessons, three lessons to straight dudes on how they should act. Notice that there's no other way around. Notice there's no, it's always, every single time I hate these female comics, they always talk about how men should respect women. They never, it's never another way around. It's never... What can they do to respect men? See, because they're not respected men. They think that, oh, it's all guys, it's a bros club. Listen, as I said before, it's not my fault that it's three, sometimes five, sometimes six guys to every girl. That is not my fault. Or 10 guys, or 20, or 30. That is not my fault. Because as I said before, women are not known to really be funny. Whenever there's somebody funny in the group, if a girl's, that could happen, but it's mostly guys that are funny. Guys, just like Andrew Dice Clay used to say, guys would go to parties. He was the funny guy. It wasn't a girl. The girls would just sit back and be timid because girls don't have to work on being funny. They get laid. They don't need it. They don't need to be funny at work. They don't need to have a sense of humor. They have a pussy. Remember? Everybody has to impress them. So women are already at a disadvantage. That's not my fault. Sorry. That's not my fault either. So don't, but at the same time, don't sit there and act like I owe you something, like I should respect you. You don't respect me because I'm a guy. You think I'm just another asshole male comic. So you're the fucking sexist. You're the fucking person judging me. You don't know me. Okay? So this is how it is. So I want that same woman. If I was in that group, I would have posted on there. Why don't you give some lessons on how female comics should respect guys? Why don't you put, uh, don't use the term like superheroes, lessons for female comics to respect men. I guarantee you should go, what are you talking about? Like, guys, there's, the guys don't need that. Oh, so we deserve to get treated like shit, and we're all pricks, and we're all this, and we're just assholes just because it's our fault that there's more guy comics than girl comics. So this is the kind of shit that I deal with in my comedy scene, for those of you who wonder, how can you have a grown further in comedy? You can't, because most comedy audiences, especially in liberal areas, they want to see a woman, or they want to see a person of color, or a minority, or a gay person. Straight white guys, and I'm only half white. And I'm only half straight. Just kidding. I'm only half white. Um, they don't really want to see. Uh, you know, sometimes they do. But sometimes if you're a straight white guy. There was this white guy talking on a podcast the other day. He was a comic. He was like, you know, um, you know, it's hard to follow. Like going afterwards. After a woman or a person of color. Because the audience, if a woman does well. They're like, oh, that's great. She was a woman. Or if it's a black guy or a black woman. But then the white guy gets up there. They're like, oh, it's a white guy. And even white people think this because we live in such a liberal, one-sided, 
fucking left, fucking radical, me too, hipster, I don't like Trump, anybody who's against my side, I don't talk to, pussy fucking world, that that's the kind of shit that we go through. So once again, I don't respect female comics. I never liked female comics. I it's still I've been watching dozens before over the last nine years. None have made me laugh, and uh, this is why because they don't work hard on their jokes. They're sitting on Facebook all day going, "What can I post about men today? Let's post more stuff about male comics and what they do instead of writing jokes." So, anyways, I'm out of here. Uh, I would love to see your comments and thoughts on this one, definitely. But more content on the way might come in slowly, but uh, I might be quitting this job <laughs> in a week or two, which I shouldn't. And uh, then there'll be more content on the way. But either way, uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz, Jack 2.0. I'll see you guys.